I'm a local fisherman, been fishing all my life, and I live in a small town here in Nova Scotia called uh, Sonyaville. Today uh, we've got a few lobsters here and we're going to try to sort out which one's the best of the four and uh, try to cook them and see how you cook lobsters and then how you shell them. The hardest in the shell can determine the quality and that, that's the only thing us fishermen can do. But right here this one's black and this one's yellow and I don't feel any difference. Well, if you take here, for instance, you look here, this one's a little bit blacker than this one. This one's got a lot more yellow on it. You look at the sides, so you can tell by the sides of the lobster that this one's darker. So this one's probably got more meat into it. Probably. It's never a guarantee. Having said that, this one's quality could be a little bit deteriorated because of the feelers here. What we have here, we have a feeler that's been eaten away, and this one's been eaten away at the end too. So this tells me that this product was probably held in a holding facility maybe for two, three weeks. Uh, so it wasn't caught a couple of days ago. This one, for instance, oh, the difference in the feelers. So when you go into a fish market, the number one thing you'd look for is the length of the feelers. If the full feelers are there, it means that's the freshest. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best or if the feelers are short that they're not going to be good. But that's just one point to prove uh, how long ago the lobster was caught. What we do when we sort them out uh, aboard the boat, we uh, tend to look for the female, which uh, these feelers here are, are very soft. And if you look, if you find a female and if between the fins here if it's kind of an orangey color, the, the meat will be a lot, won't be as tender, but it will be a lot tastier. And the males wouldn't have that, and not all the females. This one doesn't. It, it's all white. 